This is Hamish and Andy. Hame, it's bad news at the moment for the Vancouver Olympic organisers at the Winter Olympics. And I know we are laughing at other people's misfortune, but the fact of the matter is they're having a Winter Games and there's no winter. It's a snow no-show. Unfortunately, (laughs) everyone's turned up but the snow. They are packing, and this is a release today, they have been packing the mountains with uh, with hay to try and build up. (laughs) Um, the, yeah, yeah. And so we need someone. This is just an ultimate last minute panic. We need 10 million bales of hay and a ton of white paint. And everyone just shut up. It's going to work. They're packing the runs with wood and hay to oh. make them higher than they would normally be. So yep. then they don't have to have as much snow cover. They're trucking in. Still need the snow, though, don't we? Because it's no good doing it hay. Otherwise, we could have done it at my grandpa's farm. Can everyone put on these white sunglasses? <laughs> the other thing is, Sam, they also are trucking in uh, just this heaps of snow, some from two hours away. Yeah, just yeah. everything. What have we got elsewhere in Ice Canada? Ice cream s- stores. Anything. Uh, anything you've Scrape got. Scrape out your freezers <laughs> and drive it up to the mountain. We need that snow. It's quite extraordinary. It's amazing. And you and I were talking today, like, what do you reckon the chances are of, from the Winter Olympic Organising Committee? Would they have had one of those crisis meetings where they just sit down and go... Right. Mm. What if we just tell everyone the first event is discus, and then when they say that's a summer sport, we plead dumb, we and do. we say we thought we had the Summer Olympics because there's no snow here, or we to go puddle jumping or canoeing. I did like uh, in our thought process, Ham, that everyone arrives and the committee goes, now the first sport's discus. <laughs> uh, send forth your disc guy players. <laughs> what? No, this is the Summer Games, isn't it? Oh, well, we're going to need another month. I mean, if you guys are here for the winters, then we're going to need to fix this up. It's, it's a bit embarrassing for Canada. It's been a really unlucky one. It's, it's their the hottest <laughs> winter ever. Yeah. Unlucky. And you've got the Olympics. It's have, so and, unlucky. It's and, like inviting everyone over to your house. Imagine if you had a yeah. dog that could do backflips. Yeah. Like, everyone's got to see this. On command, he's never not done a backflip. Yeah. Like Whistler, where they're having the actual yeah. games, the mountain. It's always voted like the best mountain in the world yeah. for skiing. This dog does backflips on command. He always does them. Get everyone over. 30 people come to your house for barbecue. Do the backflip. He just licks his genitals and walks away. He normally does it. He does normally do it. We normally have snow on those mountains. I promise you. I can show you postcards from last year. Well, maybe it's more like they come round and they go, where's the dog? Is He's run away. <laughs> He's got a cat on some strings trying to fake that he's doing backflips, chocking him up with straw. The thing is, though, Ham, it's really unlucky, and they're going the quick fix. Of course they are. And people panic and go a quick fix, and yes, we are probably going to see... Polystyrene uh, balls. <laughs> polystyrene balls are ordered, or at least marshmallows. You know what they're going to do? They're just going to go do a little... Go and buy everyone. Go and buy a TV and give us the polystar in packing and scrunch it up, and we're going to go and sprinkle it around on the mountain. Thirteen ten sixty. Have you been involved in a last minute a quick fix? Quick fix happens it, a lot with school plays. I reckon. Was it a play, Rocker Stedford? Any type of yeah. <laughs> any type of exhibition. There's always quick fixes when you need people coming. And, and did people fall for it or not? Because, Andy, you and I have got one yeah. where when we first started doing stuff on TV, we were involved in a sketch show and we needed a panda to be asleep in the background for whatever this sketch was. Not easy to get a panda suit at no. short notice. And we were still at university. So we were like, well, we can we can fix this. this is fine. And we've got everyone there. You know, we've borrowed the three lights. Our budget's blown. Yeah. Like, we have to shoot this today. We had access to a gorilla suit, so we got someone in a gorilla suit and we draped white socks and a white T-shirt over them, thinking that out of focus it might look a bit like a panda. It was it, not convincing. It wasn't convincing. When we showed it to people, they said, why is there a gorilla in the background with laundry on it? <laughs> Ryan on 131060, you were involved in a quick fix, Ryan. Yeah, hey, guys. How are you going, Ryan? Great. <laughs> um, we had some people coming to look at my mate's car that he was selling, and we thought we'd take it out for a bit of a last-minute thrash, you know, while we can. Yeah. And um, we noticed as we were, you know, driving like idiots that we could hear a, a cracking sound, like a scraping. We realised that the exhaust pipe had started falling off. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we, um, we decided to go back to his place, and we thought the best idea would be to get an old work boot with a nice rubber sole on it and tie it to the exhaust pipe 
and then we took it for a drive to see whether you could hear the clunking anymore. Okay. Oh, so the, the, the exhaust pipe is skating along on an old boot. <laughs> yeah. Well, the, no, the, the, the boot was actually on top of the um, on, on top of the exhaust pipe. Okay. It was kind of bouncing up into the car more oh. than it was hitting the road. Good, it was like a shock and absorber. And what ended up happening was it, it didn't just fix the, the hitting. It actually, the rubber sole melted it back to the car and it actually fixed it all together. And the people <laughs> still, as far as I know, they've never called my mate back and gone, hey, you sold us a car with a rubber boot. Sold us <laughs> 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 so a car with a boot muffler. <laughs> I don't think they can complain. They got a boot for free. You essentially had a car with two deal. boots. <laughs> well done, Ryan. Thank you, mate. Ian, seems to be blokes that go the quick fix. You had a quick fix at your wedding, mate. Yeah, mate, I was getting out of the car and I split my pants. So yeah. I did some gaffer tape and gaffer taped it up for the photos in the wedding. Ian, did you gaffer on the inside or the outside? On the outside. <laughs> <laughs> That's the height of laziness, Because you could have gone the inside and maybe people wouldn't have noticed. Uh, just on the outside, it was straight up the leg because I split it straight up the... Up the leg? Yeah. So did you try and match the other side yeah. with another gaffer you know, strip? Sometimes you see those uh, <laughs> tuxedos one... pants that have a bit of a shiny stripe up the side. Yeah, nah. <laughs> it was all right, but it looked, it looked pretty good. I'm, I'm no sure doubt. it did, Ian. No doubt. Ian oh, didn't seem too Ian, phased by the situation. Ian did and he? Ryan have been hired immediately by the Vancouver Organising <laughs> Committee. We need thinkers like that to get over here and fake up some snow. Hamish and Andy.